Greetings, this is Dr. Derek Ong with the continuation of the series of how to use SPSS for data analysis in research. Now, um, last video, I have shown you the ways of how to use ANOVA and uh, MANOVA for your statistical data analysis, especially in experimental design. Um, but there are times when uh, we might have to put in a control variable or we call it a covariate to control for certain effects or factors that we might want to see uh, affecting our dependent variable. So before we go into what ENCOVA and MENCOVA is, let me just explain to you a little bit about what a covariate is all about. Now, a covariate in an experimental design, um, maybe ANOVA and MANOVA, is basically a variable which is observed, and it is usually quantitative in nature. And this covariate is normally controlled to see the effect of other factors on the dependent variables. So we want to make sure that we keep the covariate constant uh, throughout the entire analysis so that it doesn't affect it. So as an example, um, you might want to see if there is a difference in purchases, uh, that's our dependent variable, uh, between geographical locations, and this is our independent variable. So one of the um, variables that might be a covariate in this case would be our income, because we know that how much we earn may of course determine how much we can purchase. So we might want to... Uh, isolate these effects of income uh, to only look at whether or not there are differences in geographical locations and whether the variances are basically only attributed to geographical locations and not because uh, of income. So it is advisable that you always look at literature to see what are control variables in your area of study and do ensure that you do add those control variables into your analysis just to ensure that you have done uh, the isolation of the effects. All right, so let's go to our example. Now we're going to go back to this uh, MLC and sales uh, data. So we're going to look into how we're going to do the ANOVA first. Oh, sorry, the ENCOVA, which the C as uh, mentioned in covariate. So we're going to go to analyze general linear model uh, as an ENCOVA. We're going to go to univariate, put in the sales, independent variable, the race. Uh, probably can put in gender. Yeah, it's a two-way ENCOVA. Uh, everything's remained the same. Uh, plots is uh, gender, sorry, race and horizontal, gender in separate lines. Just add, continue. Uh, sorry, we might want to do the uh, estimated marginal means for all the effects as what we did in the ANOVA just now. These three options here. Now, the only thing we have to do here is to ensure that we put in uh, age. Yeah, we want to hold for age, and that's where we put in the covariate here. And make sure that our covariate is a quantitative measure. So press OK. And now, if you look at this, sorry, if you look at this table here, We're basically going to transfer this information into our table. Now, what we could do is, uh, if you can see here that uh, I have already transferred this information, what I would like to bring your attention to is the error. The error now has reduced from 9 to 8 from our previous ANOVA video because we have added age as a covariate. To hold for age, we need to then lose one degree of freedom. And that will give us a much more accurate answer. Uh, but notice that now, race, gender is not significant and uh, the interaction is no longer significant. And what I've done is, uh, I've also put in the table here to show you the difference between when putting in a control and when... Uh, when without the control and when putting in control. You see, if we put in the control, the interaction, sorry, this is 5.773. Uh, 
5.773 and uh, that is the results of our ANCOVA so now race has become not significant with the age control there just to double check yes um, uh, interaction still remains significant but you notice that it's the F now is a bit lower so you can do a comparison between age uh, within control and without control okay so uh, in terms of our our um, what you call this our graphs you notice that uh, uh, age um, in sales now has a different graph altogether. So you hear here, here uh, covariates appearing in the model are evaluated following the values of 50.2 and that's basically the mean of the age. So everybody has the same mean age. So we're controlling for that age. Uh, now we're going to move on to how we can look into MANOVA uh, using the covariates between MANCOVA. So analyze multivariate by putting in sales and motivation level scores, age as a covariate, race and gender as fixed factors. So plots once again race on a horizontal, gender in separate lines, and we add options. Put here, make sure we write compare, main effects, descriptive estimates, and observe power, and press continue. So, looking at the table here, same thing again, we basically transfer all this. Now we see that um, nothing is significant except for the interaction with race and gender in sales, and I have also put the uh, table here you can use this as a table with age and sales and source of variation and uh, you can tell a story with this and of course the differences in the graphs so that's how we use for covariate so just remember to uh, decide on what can be used as a covariate in your study and do email me if you have any questions thank you